It's about quality, safety, and result. Operated under the International Cellular Medical Society, ICMS, AABB, and US FDA's Good Tissue Practice, CGTP guidelines. Board Certified Physician Specialists. Maximizing Health Potentials. It's all about quality of life. Bye. What would you tell people about Cancun? What, what would oh, the experience be? here? Oh, it's been it's been fantastic. The the you know the island strip itself is yeah, it's, it's, it's luxurious. It's as gorgeous. Any place as I've been. It's gorgeous. I will say that I was freaked out. I was very scared. I was very scared. I've never been out of the United States. Um, you know, I was very very scared. And to come and have this done in a foreign country, you know, it's just Cancun and everybody comes here for vacation and stuff. It's just, it was very overwhelming to me, you know, and I don't feel that way now. You know, I would come and do this again in a second. Um, and you're, the whole staff has just been phenomenal. You know, Rudy has been at our side at every moment. I never felt alone, you know, with, with the phone we had. I always knew that there was somebody there if we needed somebody. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's just been amazing let me it, let it, me break it down real quick because i think that this the scope of something of this undertaking will be so overwhelming for certain people that they will never look at the steps involved to actually complete the task and the first is if you think there's any chance that you can get your child through a two-hour flight from houston to cancun that's your first step uh the tsa i called ahead told them we were coming what do we do they have a whole uh, they have a whole process that you can you know people that you can talk to and all that people that will meet you at the in the lines yeah, and the help supervisor, you with the we had the supervisor's name we had the complaint resolution officer's name we knew we knew what to do if anything melted down nothing did so we were fine when we got through the plane ride uh, when we got here it was the same as any other experience you get your baggage you go through the detectors and all that stuff when we came out of the door um, you know, there was Rudy with a nice Our big name. sign, yeah, with it was the driver, a nice big van, and it was... He had know, the nice music playing yeah, in the van, it, we had the water and the juice, which I was thirsty, yeah. and you know, at he, any point where right, were, a, right yeah. away he acknowledged the fact that we might be nervous and then the fact that we might be apprehensive about the whole thing, and he, yeah. you know, started to put us at ease immediately, great. and he's great. We didn't, he uh, we didn't have to think anymore. It's yeah. like once we got through the plane ride, mm -hmm. everything else was taken care of. We could we could see that from the, immediately. As soon as we walked out of the doors of the Cancun Airport, there was the driver, there was Rudy, and then it was kind of like we're gonna t we're gonna tell you what's next. And so we just we just checked out. We, for the moment, we got out of the door, and the driver grabbed the bags. It was like okay, now yeah. we don't even have to think about our bags, and that's all done. And so you know, yeah. to to the hotel. He came in with us. Was, yeah. He had our check-in information. He, oh, that's right. Yeah. He handled check-in for us. Um, you know, I was able to take Kel and, and move out of the way so that the check-in process could happen. Our bags were taken care of. He even asked if he needed, if we needed him to come up with us. He, yeah, offered to come help to us get, get everything, everything situated. In. And you know, we didn't need him to do that for us, but um, just the assistance that we've had throughout the whole thing the just, driver like, the timing you know the everybody the is right on time and, and everywhere we go rudy is there it's like oh he almost magically appears he's, <laughs> we, we drive up and he's standing there it's like there he is yeah. <laughs> and so it, I, i've never felt that we've had to figure anything out on our own or that we've had to um what do we do next where do or, we go yeah. you know we've had to go to the grocery store here and we felt very comfortable with that we had to go to get the sunscreen at the, the pharmacy, and we felt very comfortable. We even with that. took our whole a bunch of laundry to the laundromat. We went to a laundromat, which is had everything dropped off. That seems crazy, but uh, to me, but yeah, it's, everything that we've done here has been very easy, and it wasn't at all what I expected. I expected a lot of chaos, <laughs> and um, well, just on our part, because there's always chaos when we bring, when we take Kel anywhere, and you know, just the preparing myself to to have the procedure and preparing myself to you know be with him and help him however we we needed to help him on top of everything that it normally takes for us to go on a trip right you know i was very overwhelmed with how it was all going to play out and i was you know a, a big chunk of that was taken away from me i didn't have to worry about you know how we were going to get 
what we were going to do, who, who we were going to call about this. We were very comfortable. And Rudy said something too because Kel was obviously fairly torqued, excited, ready because I mean he had been in the plane for a couple hours and we got into the, the van right. and he was just you know stemming out and Rudy just said once one time he said don't worry about it we're all totally used to this and he was speaking about Kel just sort of being amped up or whatever so for parents if you think if there's any way that you could find a way to get your kid through that plane ride all this on this side is, is taken care of it's really about can you can you make it happen on your side and and I'm I say try everything and anything you can I don't know if you know a rubber mallet to the head or whatever <laughs> something get your kids here because this part is is taken yes, care of right. no. uh, I guess not. we would never do that no, we would never do that but try and figure out how to get over that hump because all this this is the the biggest part that you're concerned about the facilities top notch I mean if they could see the the, the shine of the floors you know and the people at the, the clinic next door uh, the proximity to where well how does everything happen and everything went exactly as described that it would and actually slightly better I think with the timing yeah and um, I just want to say about you know, yeah, go ahead. I just want to say about the first the facilities that um, you know I was nervous about that too even though I had heard that the facilities were very nice and you know wonderful and they were nicer than at home. I mean, oh yeah, nicer oh, than I could our think hospital. Of two or three at hospitals home. at home. This, this didn't. Even yeah, it was it was um, totally different experience from the United States. Totally different. You know, there wasn't a lot of waiting around. You know, we didn't have to get Kel here three hours before. Yeah, there was no rushing and there was no, no waiting. Yeah, <laughs> we walked in. We were ready to go. It wasn't like you know you have to be go through this gigantic process just to go in and have this procedure done, which I you I mean it's. It's nerve-wracking. It's saying, funny because there was no bureaucracy. Right. That was the big thing. That, like yeah. everything, everyone was already ready for us when we got here. So when and any any American goes, unless it's their general practitioner, it's like, here's your stack of paperwork. But go sit over there. When you're done, you probably wait another hour. Yeah. It was, oh, you're here, great. Here, sign this. I think there was one, maybe one consent form. Sign this and write this way. And that was it. So there was no waiting, which was really nice. Cause with these kids, <laughs> yeah. every parent knows yes. there is yes. no waiting. You know, right. sweet because we've had to We're go here, and bring with him this. before and wait and wait and you wait. You wait for a long time, mm -hmm. and he can't handle that. We can't handle that. It's just it was it was very smooth, and it just took a lot of the the drama and the anxiety, anxiety, and a lot of a lot of the stuff that we usually have to go through was not present here. And so we were, we were, we could not be happier oh, good. with the whole process. We really couldn't. And if I could say also, just looking at the at the sights on his legs, yeah, that was another big thing of understanding and and having confidence in your all's description about why you do what you do, the way you do it in terms of harvesting the cells. Mm -hmm. There was some apprehension about the bone marrow and that process and the spinal tap mm -hmm. and putting Kel to sleep. All those things, and every every aspect of it. I mean, the spots on his on his little shins there are smaller than the Louisiana mosquito bites. That he gets. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, he hit the the spinal tap took really no time. Uh, Dr. Martha was fantastic. She, I stayed in there in the, during the whole procedure, which any other American would know that never happens. Right. But I actually got to stay, and and that was a huge. Again, a game changer for oh, me. Oh gosh, yeah. And but she looked across the room several times just to look at me and give me kind of a wink, give me a nod, and say everything's good, everything's fine. She's checking and she's looking. So and you know, I got updates from you, Doctor Gatish, you know, on the phone. Yeah, all throughout the whole throughout thing. The whole so Rudy came in and told me things, you know, mm -hmm. as it was happening. He was able to send me text messages from the procedure. This is good. This is good. Which absolutely unheard of. You would never be able to do that in the United States. Yeah. <laughs> they confiscate all your stuff, and yeah. then they send you in with nothing on you. So yeah. um, that was that made me. I, I could I didn't have the stomach to sit in on the procedure. I could not have done it. So to be able to sit there and you know have all of this information coming to me as it was happening was huge because you know at at home you can't. Yeah, and I'm not a doctor. Do I don't have any medical experience, and this, right. the stomach aspect of it, which. 
you know, I was a little concerned about it, but I will say I, I saw everything. Mm -hmm. I watched everything, mm -hmm. and it was far less invasive than you would think when you hear the description. Far less invasive, of course. Uh, Dr. Leeds' expertise makes that uh, a big factor, <laughs> but I mean, it was just smooth and quick. And um, I mean, honestly, that afternoon, uh, if we had been allowed, I, he would have gone out and run and jumped in the water and all this sort of thing. We actually did go for a walk. Mm -hmm. That evening, yeah, he was down for about. Uh, I say down. It wasn't for really Kel. Down, down for two sitting. or three hours. He was sitting. He would lay in the bed with me. He was just tired. And that was about two hours. Mm -hmm. And then after that, he was like, "Here we go. Where are we going next?" And we're like, that "No, dude, you're not going surprising. anywhere." That was surprising. That was surprising. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting him to kind of be out after you know him waking up and still being aggravated and and, and um, tired. I really expected him to be out for the rest of the day and us to be up all night. But it wasn't like that at all. Um, he was he bounced back pretty quick pretty quick so we were very pleased with that also good deal, good so. deal. Well, thank you so much for the feedback i mean sure. it truly is nice to hear that we're, we're getting where we want to go we recommend it we would absolutely yeah. recommend and, it and there actually will be a lot of people that, that are waiting on us for this description of the experience and with think, children like this that are just waiting for us to get home to talk about it for more information, please visit www.worldstemcells.com or call us at 800-234-1693.